video I am going to show you how we can uh, use Google Earth engine to plot a, a time series of data. So for that I am going to use uh, uh, this uh, FIRMS data. So FIRMS data shows the uh, shows the near real time active fire locations uh, in all around the world. So it is a daily uh, data set and uh, in Google Earth Engine you can access it by uh, getting the FIRMS data set. So uh, in here you can see the image collection ID is FIRMS and also uh, the relevant band is the confidence. So using the confidence band you can obtain the fire locations uh, data set so in order to reduce area i have chosen the china geopolitical boundaries out of the uh, global political boundaries map so first of all we have to create a variable maps and iterate to through the uh, first of all what we have to do is we have to create a list of years that we are going to use for this example so in this list uh, sequence uh, we are going to iterate through from 2010 to 2020 so then we are going to create another variable And here, uh, what you are doing is that we are going to. And here, uh, what you are doing is that we are going to uh, use the uh, use this uh, sequence of years to extract the data sets and create a list of images. create a start date So in here we have created two variables for the start date and end date. So the start date is the year of each, uh, the date of the each year and it will uh, iterate until the end of that year, December. So in here that's why we are using December 31st. So finally we are going to create a list of images. So in here we are considering the maximum uh, date range, the maximum amount of fires occur for that year.
and now we have created the uh, list of images however in order to create a composite image we have to convert it into a composite layer so we can do that using the image collection from images in build function So likewise we can convert the image collection uh, to a, the list of images uh, to an image collection. So finally we can, uh, in order to visualize the data in a timeline or a graph, we can use the UI chart image series by region built-in function. Since you are uh, writing an output, we have to write it as a uh, print function. And again, we have to give the relevant arguments for this. So the first one is the image collection. And the second one is the region that we are reducing to. So in here, the image collection consists of entire world images of the entire world the location of uh, the maximum amount of uh, fires in each of the year so in here so in here what we are doing is that we are reducing the uh, region to only china So here we are using the reducer uh, to specify only the count of the images, uh, fire count, because in here we are only uh, interested in the amount of fires, occurrences, we have to specify the scale also. I think I have lost my internet connection. So let's run the program again.
so the reason is that I have missed an S here now let's see so everything seems to be okay Since my internet connection is quite unstable, it's getting some time. Finally, we can also add the uh, created map layer into the Google Earth engine. And we can click the China area only. and also define a color palette so let's run the program here So now you can see uh, the fire locations are showing around China area. So finally you can get uh, the timeline of events uh, including the fire count like this. See you in the next video.